Greetings and salutations. Welcome to Knife Chats with Tobias. Okay, the last knife I showed was the uh, small leg knife. And now we're moving up to the um, RR2405, which is the uh, Congress in the Stonework series. Okay, I have mentioned in the past on a couple occasions that the uh, newer Rough Rider knives are uh, brought in off of the old Colt lineup. And I'm talking about the frames and the use of the half stops and the swedges and stuff. This is uh, something that was going on in the Colt lineup that, that was being produced by SMKW before SMKW, well, before Colt uh, stopped producing knives. And they pulled uh, the frames and the production techniques over into the Rough Rider lineup. And you can see that very clearly with this Congress and uh, another knife from Colt. This is the old Colt uh, Buckshot Bone Series Congress. Um, and as you know, the Buckshot Bone Series is now being made by... Uh, by Rough Rider so but you can see a little bit of a difference here you have the uh, the pony there the little colt for the shield and the anaconda C on the uh, bolster there instead of the big R I don't mind the uh, anaconda C nearly as much as I do the big R but the thing is is there were a couple issues with this colt knife and they um, carry over into the uh, Rough Rider and the biggest problem I had with this, uh, when it was a Colt knife, uh, was the blade choices that were made. Um, one of the blade choices is really good. I wish, uh, um, I'm, and I'm glad they kept that, but the other blade choice that they made is not so good. And I wish they would have changed it. I've mentioned this a couple times when it comes to these Congress knives here. Uh, so first I'm going to talk about the blade choices, um, which I'm not really happy with. And then we'll go into the uh, stones here, which uh, I'm very pleased with. But first of all, um, you have the uh, pin blade here with the uh, long pole and the swedge at the top there. And if you can see it there, every blade will have the Rough Rider tank stamp on it. Problem is, is on the opposite side you have the same pin blade. So they've dispensed with the uh, with your typical coping blade and pin blade on this knife. And uh, I wish they would have uh, kept the coping blade along with the pin blade. Uh, but for some reason, they opted to go with two pin blades, and I'm not too pleased with that part of it. Um, however, on the plus side, you have a... Uh, a long um, spear blade with a long pole and a swedge and you have the sheep foot with the long pole and a swedge as well so you have the typical sheep foot blade that you usually will have with a congress knife but they've also given you a spear blade so that, I think, is was a good idea. A lot of people like to see that uh, spear blade with the, um, with the sheep foot. The typical Congress will have two sheep foot blades. Um, so for a, a kind of a mixed up idea, you know, or how can you put it? Uh, for a nice change of pace, it was nice to see these two different blades on here. Uh, unfortunately... I was not as pleased to see the two pin blades. I would have uh, liked to them, liked for them to have gone with a coping blade and a pin blade, a sheep foot blade, and a spear blade. I think that would have been a much better option for the knife. Now, there's also a couple problems with these pin blades. Uh, first of all, the, the, the pull on them is around a 6 or a 7, and that is a similar problem that they had with these older... Um, Colt knives, the the pull on them is really strong. Um, the cool thing here is uh, they just had a nice clean pull, no match strike pull, and that works a whole lot easier at least. Uh, and it, it 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 makes the uh, the seven pull on these knives not quite as bad 
as the match strike pull that you have on these uh, because it's a little harder to get in there with the match strike pull. Of course, you can file your fingernail down on there. The other problem is, is that uh, swedge. This one's not too bad, but I tell you what, the swedge on this side, it is so thin that you almost have a second edge up on top here. It is that close. It is so thin. It is uncomfortable to touch. Uh, you could easily sharpen that, I think. Um, but the real problem is the match strike pull kind of interferes with opening. This one, the, uh, the sheep foot blade, I basically have to open it from the back side like so in order to get it open. I can't open it very well from the front side. Very hard. Uh, the pull on it is probably, uh, well, when I'm opening from this side, yeah, the, the pull on the, uh, the sheep foot blade here is like about a 7 or an 8. It's pretty strong, at least on my knife. Might be a little different on yours. So I'm not too crazy about opening and closing the blades on this one, which means um, I probably would not get used much. Um, of course, I bought it for the Stoneworks collection, and the stones on it look really good. Uh, matter of fact, I was thinking back and forth, do I, would I have preferred to have a piece of abalone in the middle here, and then uh, like the uh, yellow jasper here for the abalone on, on the side here, or am I okay with the malachite in this one? And Or should this have just been yellow jasper in the middle? Because you notice there's no malachite showing on the box. Um, but for some reason, I kind of like the malachite on this one. It's one of the few where I don't mind it too much. And I think one of the reasons for that is because it actually acts as kind of like a keystone into the, uh, into the other stones. The fact that it is balanced on both sides makes it look okay, and I'm all right with the green in this case. Um, you got white mother of pearl here. Yes, that is genuine mother of pearl. This is genuine abalone next to the mother of pearl. This is a synthetic stone. This is a, uh, a bloody basin jasper. Now, believe it or not, red jasper um, is usually a dark green with red veins running through it. So this isn't a true red jasper. This is a bloody basin jasper, which um, comes from a bloody basin area. And it is a red stone. It is a type of jasper, but it is not your typical red jasper. So that's why I, I refer to it as bloody basin jasper, because that's the kind of stone that it mimics. This is known as uh, often like a Kingsman uh Turquoise, it's also gone with a few other names too, but it, that's basically from the uh, the mine that it came from, uh, the, the one with the spider web going through it and everything. So the stones on it look really good, and I do like the um, the slanted bolsters on this knife. The, 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 the looks of the knife are great, and the build quality on this is really good, uh, very solid. You got the uh, brass liners. Uh, the stainless steel back springs, there might be a little bit of gapping between the middle spacer here. Might be. Um, depends on how the light hits it. But really, it looks very nice and tight. Uh, this is um, the second style of uh, Congress knife that was issued in uh, the Stoneworks series. Let's take a look at the first run of uh, uh, Stoneworks Congress also. Okay, this was the first Congress that came um, in the Stoneworks lineup. And you notice it's got a lot of the um, Bloody Basin Jasper going. And then you've got on the outside here, the abalone. you got abalone here and here. And you see the opposite side is the same. In the center, you have Black Mother of Pearl. So you've got Black Lip Mother of Pearl. Uh, and then you've got the uh, more uh, Bloody Basin Jasper, the Yellow Jasper, and then the uh, Turquoise there. And this is a slender, a more slender build. You notice the uh, the crown bolsters going on, triple rings, and um, thin blades. The pull on these is not as hard as this. The pull on these is 
probably in the um, five or yeah, more like a yeah, about a five. Uh, the problem is, is once again, if you notice, the uh, the nail nick is very close, so you really got to be careful pulling it out. And you got your um, your clip blade. I'm sorry, your uh, pin blade. No swedges on it. No half stops. Other side, you have a nice coping blade. Every blade also has the uh, horseshoe stamp on there. And then for the top blades, you have long pulls on two sheep foot blades. Okay, let's uh, take a look at the two sheep foot blades side by side. And you'll see that uh, one is obviously more substantial. Well, sheep foot blade. You can see the difference there. Uh, definitely a thicker blade on the uh, the newer uh, version of the Congress knife versus the older version of the Congress knife. Um, this one, all around, it's just a bigger knife. Um, I guess they're about the same length. No, they're not even the same length, really. Um, probably about an eighth of an inch longer and everything else. So totally different uh, Congress knife than the one before. So that is a big plus uh, from a collector's point of view. The fact that you now have uh, two different styles of Congress knives in the uh, Stonework series. So not only did they mix up the stones on the knife, but you have an entirely different pattern of Congress, uh, which is a plus compared to, um, well the uh, little lady legs where you've got uh, different uh, bolsters you've got different stone lines you got a different style of blade and everything but essentially it's built on the same frame so these knives are much closer to each other uh, than these two knives are which is a, a nice touch uh, I've got one other Congress that's sort of in the Stoneworks lineup that I want to show you. This was actually the one that came from Schrade in their, um, what was it called? Um, uh, the uh, Custom Series. And you see, it looks very close in uh, frame, at least, to the uh, Rough Rider. The, the stones are just laid out in a different fashion. And you will see these knives uh, show up quite a bit on um, eBay as well. The, uh, the old Schrade Custom Shop uh, knives. And they are basically, I don't know which one came first. If the, the Rough Rider Stoneworks came first or if the Schrade Custom Shop came first. Or if they came out at the, about the same time. But they're very close in uh, um, style. Um... So one of the knives to look for, if you're interested in the, the Rough Rider Stoneworks lineup of knives, you might also be interested in trying to track down the Schrade Custom uh, Series knives too. Another one that's out there that is similar to these, but uh, uh, not quite the same and, and has a, a much more variety in the stones is the uh, Frost Silverworks, Silver Horse Stoneworks series i think is what it's called the silver horse stonework series or something like that but their works is spelled w-o-r-k-s any case this was the uh congress and uh well um uh, not as crazy about the way the blades work uh those are a little bit of a stickler for me other people will probably have no issues with it at all um but I really do like the way the stones are laid out on this. And it is nice that it is a definitely different Congress uh, than the earlier Congress, um, despite the fact that it has two pin blades. So there we have the uh, Rough Rider Stoneworks Congress.
let me take just a second to thank you once again for dropping by and spending a few minutes here at Knife Chats with Tobias. I really do appreciate it, and I do appreciate any comments that you leave. So please uh, remember to give me that thumbs up, and also don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you'll know when the next episode is up and running. Thanks again for dropping by. Really do appreciate your time here.